involved in that because I think you guys are doing well on your own. What we do want to get involved in is that wealth generating aspect. So how do we turn your savings into long-term uh, long wealth for you? Uh, ideally, we should have had this conversation last year when Bitcoin was $700. But, that, <laughs> but uh, I, I think that we can, uh, if we move quickly, we can still, uh, we can still get something out. Yeah. So what I've uh, said to Michael is that on Friday, or by Friday or Thursday, uh, we'll get out a perspective or a little info page, just kind of a one page uh, just telling you what we're about, what we do. Um, in terms of strategic partners that, that we're working with, we do we are working with um, institutional uh, players here in Papua New Guinea at the moment that we can't actually announce just yet. But what I can say <coughs> on behalf of my international partners is that uh, we have the full support of Draper Associates, uh, the whole full support of our uh, venture partner, Silicon Valley, also got the, the biggest venture capital fund uh, out of China that invests in blockchain. It's continuing on board with us. Uh, we've got support coming out of the World Economic Forum, World Bank, uh, and a bunch of the uh, other guys that will be putting out a statement in the next two or three weeks. Uh, but my main message here is that uh, when it comes to, I guess, the, the credibility of all of this and the overall big picture, um, I can make the representation that this is very credible and what we're doing here is something that we'd like to uh, get, get involved with, with you and uh, We are also a new company. We just started in Papua New Guinea this year. And um, so the way that we see it is that if we want to build up the ecosystem, we'd like to be as close to you guys as possible. So what I'll do is I'll give my contacts to, uh, to, to Michael. And then um, afterwards, if you guys have any questions, anything like that, feel free to reach out to him or just reach out to me directly, anything like that. Um, in terms of maybe what Bitcoin and all that is, just a show of hands, who, uh, who understands what Bitcoin is? Okay. So the only difference between Bitcoin and, and TBC is, uh, I believe, and President correct me if I'm wrong, TBC drives its value from a member promise, members, members understanding. Yep. Community driven. Yes. And uh, is, is, is TBC a uh, finite supply or is, is, is it a... Uh, Expanding, right? Is, is, is TBC a finite supply of uh, TBC coins, or just it, it grows as a membership? No, uh, we have one billion TBC okay. coin in circulation. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay, sure. So, yeah, so TBC and uh, Bitcoin are essentially the same. Um, Bitcoin drives its value from the fact that, again, everyone that signs up for Bitcoin is buying into a vision. They're buying into a vision that there's this currency that we all recognize as being valuable. So because me selling from the beginning sees value in this currency, and you selling Ghana sees value in the currency, we can now share it internationally without it. So that's really all Bitcoin is. Now the reason why Bitcoin has been able to be so successful is because it was the first. That's it. it was the first currency to actually be uh, accepted. That and also the fact that it's been used by the most amount of people. Right? So, so the network is the biggest network in the world at the moment. So when you think about Bitcoin, it just comes down to two things. It's just everyone trusts in the same thing. We all see value in it. And the value is that, well, it was the first one, and now there's just more people using it. So that's really all it is. Now, when it comes to what TBC is doing here, I think it's very similar. I think it's all very similar. You're all buying into the same vision. You're all buying into the same thing, and you all accept it. Uh, again, I know that in, in the country you guys have, I think, more than about 30,000 members at the moment which in and of itself, I think, deserves a big round of applause. <laughs> um, and again, I think that over time, what you'll see is that TBC can be a great, um, what they're calling alternative coin. Okay, so this is another, this is another coin that's an entry coin. Uh, Bitcoin at the moment is widely, widely uh, renowned as the best global currency. But what's happening is, uh, going from a currency to now an asset. The reason being that people don't actually want to uh, transact with Bitcoin. There will be 